Now, your news on the go. In-person classes being canceled, college students being asked to keep clear of campus, universities nationwide responding to the coronavirus. And on that list is Syracuse University, Cornell University, and Colgate University. In New York State, the total of confirmed cases of coronavirus stands at 173 right now. Most of those in the downstate region, though, there are at least 1,000 cases in the country. Well, we've learned this morning that librarians are doubling as, if you will, first responders in some manners. Libraries have long been known as a place for shelter and to recover and just keep quiet. Now addictions are part of the story. And so many of those who work at the Onondaga County Public Library in downtown Syracuse have learned how to use Narcan to reverse heroin and opioid overdoses, as well as provide some mental health first aid. Well, several villages around central New York will be holding elections on Wednesday, March 18th. Nearly two dozen of the villages in Cayuga, Madison, Onondaga, as well as Oswego counties will have polling sites set up for voters. Elections won't be on Tuesday this year because state election law says there can't be any elections on St. Patrick's Day. Speaking of, the organizers of the Syracuse St. Patrick's Parade this Saturday say the parade will go on despite the cancellation of parades in Boston, Ireland, and other U.S. cities. The New York City St. Patrick's Day Parade next Tuesday is still on, by the way. Uh, the decision here locally would be up to Onondaga County or city government. There are no confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Onondaga County or any surrounding counties. Again, the Syracuse St. Patrick's Parade is still on this Saturday. Well, the Liverpool Golf and Country Club, which has been around since 1943, is now set to be replaced by a $280 million warehouse. And today, the items from the course will continue to be auctioned off for those who have great memories of their days on the green. Now, the golf course equipment will be auctioned off today. The restaurant items, though, were auctioned off earlier this week. Kate? Well, it's not exactly warm like it was earlier this week for golf weather, but we do keep it dry today. And we actually have a really, really nice sunrise in the making. This is what it looks like over downtown Syracuse right now from our Skynet 9 camera. We still have uh, about 20 minutes or so before the sun officially comes up. It is 29 degrees. Uh, it's been a couple of days since we've had temperatures below freezing. So uh, you want to have maybe that extra layer, that warmer coat as you're heading out the door. We keep it dry. Nothing on live Doppler 9. No rain or snow in the forecast for today, but some extra cloud cover before the day is over with, with temperatures around 40. For this evening, towards and after sunset, would not be surprised if we have a few brief rain and higher elevation snow showers, but that's out of here for tomorrow with highs in the 50s. And then we have some rainy weather returning, though, by Friday. The weekend so far is dry, just cooler and breezy. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Kate. News and weather anytime. Sports, too, if you have the News Channel 9 app, download it by searching WSYR either in the App Store or Google Play. 6.58, Good Morning America is less than two minutes away now. If you're still home, we'll have a local update on the weather and the news right here at 7.23. Have a wonderful Wednesday, everybody, and thanks for watching the morning news on News Channel 9.